The one person I didn't expect to be here this morning to hear us was uh, Mr. Grayling himself. He's actually taller than that in real life, you know. But uh, what it does is it allows me to speak directly to him. And what I say to him is this. When you are a trustee of a system which has taken 800 years to home to its present excellence in world rankings, then you do well to leave it alone. In the second half of the last century, Legal Aid brought access to justice to everyone and not just the few. This attack on Legal Aid is anti-democratic, it is socially divisive, and it is utterly shameful, particularly when it is introduced by a wealthy cabinet minister who can afford to purchase legal advice, unlike the people he is supposed to represent. He's done policy on legal aid, transforming legal aid the next step, is similar to a drunken man walking down a narrow street. He staggers around, bouncing from wall to wall, and those walls prevent him from collapsing in a heap. However, when he gets to the end of the street, he's nothing to bounce off, so he does collapse in the street, in a heap. Mr. Grayling, you call that transforming legal aid. We call it a total and utter collapse. This government is capitalising on trying to gain popularity by attacking the most vulnerable people in society because they are an easy target. He argues the issue of cost. We all know what they say about it. We all know they say it's the most expensive in the world. We all know that both of those statements are completely and utterly untrue. What he ought to consider is this the cost of rebuilding it once it has collapsed. And let me give you an example of that. If you take Mr. Grayling's imaginary figure of two billion pounds, there's a system called the Public Defender Service. That is a service which operates at 65% more of the cost of a legal aid firm. That will bring your budget, Mr. Grayling, on your figures, up to 3.3 billion pounds. So take heed, the successors to Mr. Grayling, for a successor there will be, he'll be off somewhere else. You'll be able to tell where because you just follow the trails of destruction and devastation. Beware his successor, that is the cost that you will have to bear. We call upon government then uh, to uh, halt these proposals to hold a full inquiry, with which, of course, we will be prepared to uh, fully cooperate with ideas as to how savings can be made through proper managed efficiency.